Hi guys, this is Yash from Unleash the Phones and here I have with me the Nokia Lumia 820, Nokia's Windows Phone 8 device. Now in this video I'm going to give you a quick demo of the, how WhatsApp performs on Windows Phone 8. Since WhatsApp is nowadays the major uh, deciding factor when choosing a platform, I hope this video helps you decide uh, if you're satisfied with the WhatsApp performance on Windows Phone. As you can see, uh, the startup times have improved tremendously since Windows Phone 7 days. I'll just message the team so that they can reply back and we can start seeing the messages with the toast and the notifications. There you go. We have push notifications so there's a toast notification at the top the moment you receive a message. Also now that we have a message I can show you the lock screen integration for WhatsApp. Uh, since Windows in Windows Phone 8 the lock screen supports 5 notifications at the bottom, these small icons and WhatsApp is one of them. So you can see a small WhatsApp notification over here to show that you have one unread message. We will switch back to WhatsApp and as you can see it opens up fast we get our messages, we can reply. I was showing you that there are three live tile options in Windows Phone 7, 8. So you can have a small tile which will show you just a count over here for the number of 100 messages. Same with the medium tile. Now in the large tile actually it's supposed to show you a preview of the message as well but I found it to sometimes work and sometimes it does not work in my experience. We will wait for the team and in the meantime I will show you around WhatsApp. Now this is the main view, the chats view where all your chats are listed. Scrolling is super quick. There's no lag. And this is the favorites where all your WhatsApp contacts are listed. You can quickly uh, access any of your contacts using the alphabet view or you can search for a contact. And these are your all the contacts on the phone. Now you can see that it takes just about a few uh, seconds every time you open the app. It takes a few seconds to display all the contacts. Another downside we noticed was that it does not follow the filter settings that you have in your people's hub so it will show you contacts from your Facebook account, from your Windows Live account, from your Google account whichever accounts you have set up but uh, mostly you will be always switching to just the chats view and this is the team having some fun I'll just wait. I actually wanted to show you the messages on the live, uh, live tile. But we don't have any messages. We'll come to that later. At the bottom for options you have an option to search, an option to start a new chat and an option to set your status. Now the new update for Windows Phone also lets you broadcast a message. Um, you can create your broadcast group, add your recipients and just broadcast a single message to multiple recipients at once. This is a feature which was missing from the Windows Phone client for long. There's an option to create groups and settings. Let's take a look at the settings. In settings we now have, uh, we can select if we want enter to send a message. Previously on Windows Phone enter would just uh, leave a line break in the text and not send the message but now with enter you can send a message like on the other platforms there's an option to uh, show if you want the messages to be shown in notifications as you can see the live to uh, the toast notifications over here they also contain what the message uh, they also show what the message has we can simply disable it and let's wait so that we, I can show you what the behavior is. The next option is that you can auto-save incoming pictures. So 
whenever you click on a photo when you receive it in your group chat it will be saved to the saved folders album on your phone next is a favorites now whenever you add a new contact to your phone book you can simply just tap over here to refresh whatsapp will go through your entire phone book again and add your favorites to the favorite whatsapp favorite list back blocked contacts and another new feature is the backup option which will take a backup of all your messages so that in case you uh, re remove the app and then reinstall the app you can just restore your messages again now all right this is what i was trying to show you uh, with the live the large style we can uh, whatsapp now shows the group which has a message the center of the message as well as the message so it's a nice addition i can now also show you the tiles medium tile i feel is kind of a waste that there's no other uh, no other text info available over here we just have a counter for the 100 messages same with the small tile so there's really not much of a benefit uh, between going for a medium tile instead of a small tile but a large tile is very useful you can see your messages We'll go back to chat. I'll take you we'll through the settings again. Uh, these were the general settings. Profile, you can choose your profile photo as well as the name which you want uh, to be displayed on the other Windows Phone and iOS uh, iPhone notifications. Your account info, where you can purchase, uh, get the link for purchase subscription or you can delete your account. So that's it for the settings. It's not really, uh, not really much to choose from. There's virtually none, no amount of customization available over here. No wallpapers, uh, no font sizes, nothing. You just have your chats. So let's take a look at the chat window. These are the incoming messages. Now, one thing which I did not really like uh, in WhatsApp for Windows Phone over the other platforms is that the colors for all the text messages irrespective of the sender is the same now on uh, symbian and android there's a color difference between the senders so it's easy to make out who has sent a message this here you can see um, when you receive photos you can view them easily within the app let's take a look at the options available in the chat window you can check out your group info, the group photo, the subject, you can mute a group, the participants, you can email the chat history or delete it. And you can check out all the media which the group has shared with you. Now let's take a look at the new uh, attached media options over here. You have an audio option, but you cannot atta attach songs which are already locally stored on your device. The only option you have is to record an audio, audio clip and share it with your group. You can, again, not share any of the local locally stored videos, but you can record a video and share it with the group. You can share your location. Now, what's interesting to note over here is that WhatsApp has tied up with Foursquare to offer you suggestions for the places nearby you can also just simply uh, share the current location or if you want to share any of the nearby event places then you can it's powered by foursquare so you have all these foursquare locations nearby and i can just share them with the group picture you can choose between your albums on the phone from your facebook and skydrive albums or you can directly take a photo from the camera and now you can even share a contact with the group so there you go this is basically more or less that's it for the whatsapp for windows phone Long press the chat and you can delete the chat, you can email the chat history or you can just clear the chat history. And I guess that's it. I can just show you the start times again. 
it is much better than what was there on Windows Phone 7 but even now there are some instances where it takes an unreasonably long time to start whereas at other times it would just start within a second or two this is what I was talking about the startup times are different on nearly every time you start an app again there's no uh, fast switching there is it takes a second or two to just load the app again so that's it this is whatsapp for windows phone 8 it is way way better than whatsapp for windows phone 7 and uh, it's basically very easily usable and you don't really notice a lot of lag uh, hit me up with questions if you have uh, any or if you want to know anything about whatsapp for windows phone 8 and i'll try to answer them in the comments and thank you for watching